Okay, so we are solving the Iser aptitude test 2022 chemistry. The question that is given to us, the products of the reaction between aqueous solutions of K4, FeCN6 and half H2O. So when we react uh, K4, Fe, Cn6 with half H2O2. Oxidation reaction will take place and the products that we will obtain are going to be K3 FeCn6 and water. As you can see this is potassium ferrocyanide the iron being in plus 2 oxidation state and this is the potassium ferricyanide the iron being in the plus 3 oxidation state so the correct answer over here is going to be option B next question for the colorless complex M H2O whole 6 N plus where M is a 3D transition metal the correct ground state D electron configuration of M is so colorless transition metal complex with water being the ligand will almost be those in which the D electron configuration is D10 or D0 okay now for an octahedral field if you arrange the electrons the arrangement for D10 will be T2G6 EG4 okay and for D0 T2G0 EG0 so over here looking at these options you can see obviously this is going to be a D10 electronic configuration and the correct option is going to be option number A choose the correct statement about the structure of C60 fullerene and the options given to us are 5 membered rings are fused with 6 membered rings only, 6 membered rings are fused with 5 membered rings only, 6 membered rings are fused with 6 membered rings only, 5 membered rings are fused with both 5 membered and 6 membered rings. Now if you look at the structure what we find is that the 5 membered rings are fused with only the 6 membered rings okay from the each side so in total we will have a pentagon fused with 5 hexagon okay so the correct statement over here is going to be statement number this a the first to fifth ionization energies of two p block elements x and y are given to us so whenever we see a jump in the ionization energy that means we are trying to take an electron from a stable system that means the one that is having octet electronic configuration so all the values before that correspond to the values for the valence cell electrons so the jump for x is for the fourth electron so that means its valency should be 3 the jump for y is for the fifth electron that means its valency should be 4 so our answer is going to be over here 3 and 4 which of the following expressions represent the hydrogen atom wave function shown in the figure below R is the distance of the electron from the nucleus and A0 is a constant. As we can see over here that it has a node. Okay. So the wave function that is going to have one node is the option A. And how do we know that? For this node we will have 2 minus R above A naught equals 0 and what we find that R by A naught is equal to 
to. Okay. So over here, our answer is going to be option A. <clears throat> Next, which of the following molecules are aromatic? So for aromatic, we know the conditions are these have to be planar, they have to be cyclic, should follow the 4n plus 2 pi electron Huckel rule. Okay, and another thing is that they should have conjugated pi bonds. So the systems that follow these are going to be M as it is having, as you can see, a 6 pi electron system. Even N is having 6 pi electron system. If you consider these two electrons, then this is also having 6 pi electron systems. However, this is the 4. Uh, P is going to have 4 pi electron systems. So we will be calling this to be as uh, non aromatic. So out here, M, N, and O are aromatic. And the option that is correct is going to be. Option number A. Question number seven is which of the following are aryl halides? So aryl halides means the bromide should be connected to the sp2 hybridized carbon. Only these two are having bromide connected to sp2 hybridized carbon whereas this is benzyl bromide where it is connected to the sp3 hybridized carbon even here it is connected to the sp3 hybridized carbon so out here the aryl bromides are we will say n and b so here, this is the correct answer. Question number 8 says, Benzamide is treated with bromine and NaOH. That means we are trying to do a Hoffman degradation reaction. So this is benzamide which is being treated with Br2 in alkaline medium. So this will lead to the formation of aniline and the product X is the aniline which when reacted with NaNO2 HCl at 0 to 5 degree centigrade it forms a intermediate Y which is the benzene diazonium chloride and if you are treating this with ethanol Okay, then that would lead to the formation of Z which is going to be benzene.
Next is in the following reaction sequence, the major products M, N, and O are respectively. We have to find out. So when we react the phenol with sodium hydroxide, it leads to the formation of sodium phenoxide which when treated with MEI makes an attack iodine goes away so least reformation of anisole okay now when anisole is being treated with acetyl chloride in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 because of steady hindrance the major product out here formed will be the para substituted product and the ortho substituted product will be very less which is as follows so this is the minor one and that is the major one and now if we treat this type of a product that is N, the major one with uh, sodium hypochlorite. Obviously, we will expect a haloform reaction to happen, and the product that will be formed will be obviously this one. Okay, so the option correct over here are A. The major product P of the following reaction is, so this is again related to electrophilic addition reaction. So the pi bond will attack the proton and what we can expect is the formation of the most stable carbocation over here. So the proton adds over here. Now this carbocation is resonance stabilized. So now finally the Br- minus will attack and the product that we will get is going to be A.